Hey everybody, Eric here. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today we are checking out The Legend of Dragoon. It is finally out on the PlayStation 5. I literally just downloaded it. I've stayed up super, super late. It's currently 1 a.m., but I'm super jazzed. I'm super excited. So we're going to check out this game. Um, it was uh, recently announced for the PS Plus Premium tier, but I actually managed to buy it and find it in the PlayStation Store, so I paid $14.95 Australian dollars for that. I think it should be like $9.95 or something US, probably plus tax or whatever. So um, this is really exciting. I am super stoked to check out the enhancements for this version. I want to see the uprending that they have, uh, the, you know, perhaps the AI upscaling, the smoothing, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to figure that out right now. Let's go. This is very exciting. <laughs> Click the touchpad to use select and start button. Press start to play. Okay. Let's experience this together. As we all know, this is a classic JRPG from the year 2000, meant to be a Final Fantasy killer. I'm very excited. I'm very, very excited. Okay, let's, uh, what do we do? Okay, create quick save settings, setting. Okay, let's, um, visual presets, aspect ratio, four by three for 60 by nine. Okay, so just quickly scanning through the, uh, the presets here, we've got wide zoom, square, ooh. Uh, I, I don't know, square pixels. Okay, we'll, we'll try four by three for 16 by nine. Uh, that is not the native res resolution, of course. So visual preset, default. Retro classic, modern. Oh, I like retro classic. Okay, we'll give it a CRT filter, controls, change change region. Okay, so we're gonna keep it NTSC. Uh, let's try this, we'll, we'll try this out. So slightly stretched with the CRT filter. Just how we remember it back in the old days, <laughs> playing on our CRTs. <laughs> I mean, it looks pretty good, so. Um, okay, all right. So it's weird because the options is not start. It's you have to, you have to press the, the touchpad thing. I don't know, whatever. Legend of Dragoon, so cool, man! I'm super uh, super stoked, super excited. Let's hit a new game and let's see how we go. I've yet to play any PlayStation like classics on the PS5, so I have no idea what to expect. Classic uh, intro cutscene here. I wonder if I should turn off the CRT filter. Ah, that's all right, we'll leave it on. So yeah, you can buy the standalone, which was really cool. Um, definitely, definitely appreciate not having to purchase the PlayStation Plus or PlayStation Premium subscription, because uh, that can add up, of course, out of <laughs> 12 months. I mean, $20 a month for the extra tier or whatever it is, at least for me in Australia. Um, but yeah, this was only just announced the other day. I, I made a video on it. Um, it got a lot of attention, a lot more so than a lot of my average videos uh, in terms of views. So it's really great because it shows that there's a lot of people excited for Legend of Dragoon. So I hope you guys, even if you're not able to play the game, I hope you're able to enjoy it with me. I gotta say, it looks good. Look at the look at the CG. This was always a good-looking game, even back in the year 2000. It always looked really great. Some of the names and stuff were a bit cringy or hit or miss or whatever, but you know, it's fine. It's not a perfect game, but it's still fun. Necessary. It is His Majesty Emperor Dole's command to take that girl into custody. Who is she? That is not your concern. The music is iconic, though. It's so good. 
<laughs> I feel like it's not the best opening cutscene to start uh, a game off with, but it leaves it leaves the player with just enough questions of like, what's happening? What's going on? Um, that way, you know, maybe an hour or so into the game, you can start connecting the dots and stuff. So I don't know how much we're going to play today, but we're definitely going to check out uh, at least the first few minutes just to give first impressions and uh, first thoughts as we play through this opening exposition, the iconic exposition of Legend of Dragoon. And there's our mysterious character, Rose, who in my playthroughs has always been a mainstay. Ooh, the dragon. Very foreboding. The green tusk dragon, Fairbrand. It's so cool. I love the ominousness of the exposition. Chapter one, the Serdian War. This looks great. I mean, even with the CRT filter on, it looks great. And I suppose the CRT filter can kind of mask um, perhaps some imperfections of the game as well. But this looks fantastic. This looks great. Chance of war more likely. Let me turn off the CRT filter. I want to see what it looks like without it. Retro classic, default, modern. Modern Modern kind of like looks like it, it yellows it up or warms it up. Okay, let's turn it off. Okay, so this is without the CRT filter. It still looks really great. I personally, if I'm going to play this, I'll play it with the CRT filter. Hmm, chance of war more likely. I hope it's just a rumor. Huh? This looks really good. This looks really, really good. Who are you? Are you a mercenary of Basil? Answer! What are you doing? Are you drawing a sword against us? Uh-oh. What is this? Here comes the green dragon. What the heck is this? I gotta do something or I'll be killed! Great soundtrack. Very nostalgic. I love this. This looks really good. The funny thing is, is when you see these classic games like remastered or retouched or even like upscaled or smoothed, they tend to look how we remember them looking. What a monster. It's coming. And we've been rescued by Rose, taken to safety behind a boulder. Who are you? If you don't want to die. Obviously some of the backgrounds still look a bit grainy, but character models look a little bit more smooth. Me personally, I'm not going to be nitpicky because this is just great that we can even play this now. Thank you for saving me. What the heck was that? It's a dragon. Dragon? But it's strange. That village could have been easily destroyed without a dragon. The village? Uh-oh. Are you talking about Celes? Then those soldiers were... There won't be anything left by now. Celes is my village! I love the soundtrack. It's cool. Oh my god. That man must be... No, there's no way. So if you know the story of the game, you know why Rose's pendant is reacting to, to Dart. 
Uh, but if you don't know, then that's something to, to keep you playing. But yeah, it's definitely looking a lot more smooth. I mean, look at look at Dart's character model. That looks great. It looks fantastic. Oh no, my God! Where is everybody? Okay, we can finally move now. This is so good. And we jump over there. Huh? You didn't get enough killing? Hee hee hee. It may be enough if I kill you. I think we can interrupt them here. Ah! Stop! Oh, a mercenary? Isn't it a little late for you to show up? Shut up! What are you doing here? Can't you see? We're gonna occupy this area. And these worms were in our way. Occupy? Were you sent by the Imperial Army? Even if we were, it's none of your business. You're gonna die soon. <laughs> Some of the dialogue is a bit cheesy, but you know what? It's, I'm all here for it. So this is our first battle. Um, if you don't know anything about Legend of Dragoon, this is turn-based with quick-time events and button presses. So, of course, you've got guard, items, uh, escape, attack, of course. I, I feel like the, the user interface here for the for the battles could, could have been maybe a little bit more clear. Same thing with Dart's portrait down below. But, again, not being nitpicky, just I'm thankful that we even have the opportunity to play. So, let's attack Knight of Sandora, and we're going to hit X. There we go. Double slash, so you get to execute the, um, like, your special attack if you time the hits correctly. Yes. There we go. So it's imperative that you, when you're playing this game, you do the quick time events so that way you can do more damage and beat the enemies faster. Cool. So two healing potions. Let's go. Ah! Are you really Dart? Yes, it's me! Why is Zealous under attack? War. Imperial Sandora attacked us. What about the truce? Yeah, suddenly... I didn't imagine they could... come to such an outlying area. If only I'd come back sooner. There's something you have to do. Shauna. Rescue Shauna, only you can. And of course, he's he's passed. What about Shauna? Is it Shana? Shauna? I always pronounce it Shauna in my head. Hey, wait! Okay. Let's try some of the other uh, visual presets. So we've let's try default. So default is very. It's kind of, it's got a more cool filter to it, so it's kind of lighter. Uh, settings. Let's turn back on the Retro Classic, I like that. This is, this is how I remember it. <laughs> of course, we could save our game here. Now, this is going to be so weird to get used to. Like I said, if you want to uh, hit up your menu, I think you can hit start. No, no, okay, it's going to be triangle. Yeah, triangle. Never mind. The menu song has no right to go this hard. I love it. So we'll save our game. Uh, it's worth noting too that the install for Legend of Dragoon was about six gigs. So I wonder if I wonder if it's come with like an emulator built into it. So it's the game plus an emulator or Sony's emulator or something like that. Acquired burnout. Already dead. So the cool thing about um, Legend of Dragoon is you can see all the things on your screen that you can interact with. They've got the little uh, swirling triangles. So it's very handy if you're trying to keep point of reference for where to go or uh, what to interact with. Hang on. Ah. That voice, is that you, Dart? This way.
It looks great. Honestly, this is looking really good. It's just a light wound. I guess I was lucky. But look at this village. If only you came back earlier. Ah. I think there's a couple more battles here as well. It's about Shauna too. What's wrong with Shauna? She was taken away. It seems Shauna was their primary purpose. Do you know where they went? I, I don't know. Okay. So, yep, battle. When you play Legend of Dragoon, <laughs> you're gonna, you're either gonna love or hate this song. So it's a, um, it's obviously the battle music. Okay. Best thing a private is no reason to be confident. Where did you take Shauna? Shauna, don't worry about her. She must be receiving the courtesies of Helena Prison by now. Helena? Surprised, huh? We specifically invited only that woman. You must be kidding. You attacked the village only to kidnap Shauna? Exactly, but don't worry. I will let you follow them. Although not to Helena. To hell. <laughs> <laughs> the dialogue's so good. I love it. All right, so let's uh, let's kick their butts with some QTEs, quick time events. Let's um, so we okay? We don't have any. We we've, we've got nothing else. Yes. When I I I last played this game a couple years ago, and I put a ton of hours into it, so I was I was used to playing it a specific way and. And uh, enabling some special powers that you get throughout the game. <laughs> so it's a bit—it's a bit weird to play at bare bones now. Um, okay. Yes. Also, the uh, the icons of the guys turn red once their their health is a little bit below, uh, I think below half, and their stance Whoa. changes as well. Here. The cool thing about Legend of Dragoon is that there are some sequences that do have uh, voice in them. So if we do a quick time event attack here, I think, yeah, Dart will say something. So let's try that. Yes. No, didn't get it. But yeah, you can you can hear when he attacks, he goes, yeah. So you'll, uh, like I said, you'll you'll either love or hate the uh, some of the voiceover work in the game. Okay, now let's do a healing item here. So heal, healing covers one half. I always love the animations in this game as well. Really cool. Let's, uh, now it's it's very important that we don't get too cocky too early. Because it's likely we can get wiped out here. Double slash. There you go, double slash. So we're gonna be hearing that quite a bit. Double slash. All right, we're going okay, we're going okay. Oh no. Oh, he's healed 4 HP. Look out. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, I, I, I pressed X too soon. Here. Here. Okay. I need to heal right away. This is fine. This is this is great. I, I really enjoyed this game and it's it's so good that it makes a comeback now on PS5. And you don't have to subscribe to PS Premium or PlayStation Premium or Plus or whatever or extra. Yes. Just to play this, so I mean, I'm quite happy to spend 15 bucks on this game, and I'll I'll quite happily play the entirety of the game too. Um, if you have PlayStation 4, it also supports remote play as well. So if you've still got a Vita kicking around, you can play it there. And look, we've just leveled up to level two now. Volcano, new edition, nice, cool. I think we could set that in our menu, but I'll, we'll we'll have another look. Okay. And we got trophies as well. I know some people were commenting on my uh, Legend of Dragoon video that I posted the other day asking about trophies. And yes, there we go. Trophy pop. So if you guys are trophy hunters, by all means, go for it. Will I platinum this game? Definitely not. Will somebody else? Definitely. Dart, are you going to rescue Shauna, aren't you? I won't stop you, but be careful. Your journey is not yet over, is it? No. You can count on us about Celis. There should be enough people who can still move. Thank you. All right. 
when I settle everything, I'll be back. With Shauna. <laughs> the pacing. Oh my goodness. I'll be back. Dot, 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 dot. With Shauna. It's too good. All right, let's explore the town a little bit here. So yeah, we can see there's uh, this little green triangle there. That's that's where we can go next. Uh, if we want to go back to the previous screen. Uh, let's talk to some people here. I'm Some slight glitching. You can see the... Well, I'm, I'm going to point to my screen as if you can see it. But yeah, you can see a little bit of glitching there and some anomalies. But, you know, to be expected, I just... It's not a, not a game breaker for me. It was a nightmare. The fires set by Sandora scorched the entire village to the ground. Dart, you shamelessly came back because you weren't here. I, damn. What are you gonna do about my feelings towards Shauna? Well, obviously nothing, because we're gonna go rescue her. We wanted to ask for help from Indel's castle, but they say there is a guardian living in the limestone cave on the way and we couldn't go so the the text scrolling i need to uh, we need to change that because that's going too slow can we can we can we do that config uh note vibrate i don't know it doesn't look like we can do that it's fine master tasman you you are dart you are safe i taught you how to use the sword i won't be killed so easily but we were outnumbered. I couldn't stop them by myself. Okay, we can hold X to, to speed up the text. It's been a while. You have to forgive me. You already heard about Shauna? I am heading to Helena. Then have a match with me before you go. I want to see if you have the ability to rescue Shauna. Okay, Master, don't be silly. Please don't be silly. With that wound, you cannot take my sword. With that kind of confidence, I guess I can be assured. I only, I only declined because I didn't save my game. <laughs> I'm going to go on a journey soon. If you think you need to practice more, ask me now. Okay. Uh, because I am a serial saver in any kind of game, specifically JRPGs, I will always go out of my way to save my game and make sure that I do not lose any progress. God forbid I lose five minutes worth. But still. Uh, okay, so we'll save our game again. This is great. This is honestly such a trip. I think this is just absolutely wonderful. Okay. So I'm quite happy to play at um, a 4x3 resolution, but again, uh, like we kind of explored in the beginning here. Hang on. Um, we can switch the video aspect ratio so we can do square, square pixels. So, okay. One to one. Okay, so yeah. The one to one, that's I think that's the original ratio. Uh four by three, sixteen by ten, sixteen by nine square pixels, wide zoom, which we definitely don't want to do. So we'll just do four by three for sixteen by nine. That it looks okay. Honestly, it's it's fine. It's quite fine. But yeah, now that we have those options, it's uh it's definitely something cool to play around with to to whatever your liking is I'll just play it like this and it'll be fine okay so I think we we head to the world map now oh hell in a prison okay so we go straight there this is cool yeah there's a little bit of a little bit of movement there in some of the in some of the textures I personally don't care but somebody, I'm sure, will be bothered by that. And that's totally fine. <laughs> oh, man. So iconic. I, I love this exposition sequence of uh, Legend of Dragon. Helena Warden. Be good in there. Some good music. Okay. Froigel. Is that Froigel? It's definitely not Frugal. Froy Froigel? Who the heck is this girl? You can tell me. The world's future rests on her. Man in Hood. <laughs> okay. That's it. Man in Hood. This is enough information for you. Those of you who do not grasp the value should just do what the order says. 
I love this guy's name. Again, this 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 proves my point that they could have said it could have been like cloaked figure. That would have been more ominous rather than man in hood. That's like the uh, the wish version of cloaked figure. I'm not taking your orders. Only His Majesty Dole can order me. Anyway, you must remember this. If you make a scratch on her, it'll cost more than your head. This is a message from Emperor Dole. Arg. <laughs> Look at that guy he just fell off. Oh my goodness. Too funny. I, you know, I, I love this game. I love its imperfections. I just think it's so wonderful. It's, it's definitely, it's pretty cheesy. Uh, but that's totally fun. Forest. Um, yes, I think this is the way we need to go. Enter. Okay, so we'll go back through the forest. And, uh, head on our way to Helena Prison. Oh, the little, little rabbits. Okay, this is a guy, this guy's a salesman of sorts. I lost the squirrel, oh well. In these troubled times, you have to protect yourself. What do you think? Wanna buy something? Hmm, yeah, we might as well buy something. What have we got? I just, I love this menu theme. I, you know what, it's great. If, uh, if I cared about my ringtone, I'd probably set this to my ringtone. So let's see, buy charm potion, healing potion. We've got four of those, body purifier. Um, okay, burnout. We've got those reduces risk of encounter. Um, I, we'll just we'll just stay as we are now. That's fine. Don't you want to know how to use the items? I can teach you that. Uh, no thanks. I I I've played my fair share of JRPGs before, dude. I it's this is this isn't the, my first time killing God in JRPGs. Also, I'll have you guys know. Um, I think the yes. Okay, let me let me just confirm my theory before I say it. I think the, the little triangle above your head is how soon... Yeah, okay. How soon of an encounter is... How close to an encounter you, you are. So when it goes yellow, you know, you know you're a few steps away. And then red, of course, is like impending battle. I better heal like straight up. Actually, I should have I should have bought healing stuff. I'm... Rookie mistake. So you can't, you can't get cocky. I, you, 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 you know I'm going to go right back to that guy and buy some healing potions. Yes. I want to have a look at my um, special abilities uh, special abilities as well. Yes. I gotta say, I'm, I'm quite satisfied with, uh, with this port. And uh, again, to be playing this on a PlayStation 5 is just absolutely surreal. There was a long time where us as fans of Legend of Dragoon, we you know we we kind of had the carrot dangled in front of us for for quite a while because um, Blue Point was rumored to be doing a remake or, or, or a remaster or something like that, and of course that kind of got phased out. Or I think even somebody somebody came out and said it it's, it wasn't legit. Um, man, those textures they're they're not looking too hot. Um, but yeah, so people were hyped for for quite a while, and of course there was a, a sequel in the works. Um, if you've played the game, I, I mean, I'm not going to spoil anything here, but if, you, if you've if you played the game, I don't necessarily know where the room is for a sequel. Um, but I'm definitely down for it. I think a prequel would be cool, rather than a sequel. Because there's a lot of story that they, that they kind of touch on a little bit um, towards the end of the game, to, as, as far as, like, setting up the events that you're playing now. Uh, which is really cool, but I, I just found myself wanting more lore and just wanting more information and, and just to kind of engross myself in this world more so than just some stuff kind of like, not, necess not necessarily like shooed in very late game, but kind of unintentionally shoot in. Although the story, ha the story is paced really well, you just get kind of like a, a late game information dump for some things. But that's fine. Okay. Let's buy something. Let's I've this is this is a rookie mistake. Okay, let's buy those. Oh, the other thing as well, like um I don't think 
Okay, so in, in modern JRPGs, you can select the number of things that you want, but this you just have to press, you have to smash that X button uh, to get your uh, preferred number of things. So um, we'll just max out our our gold there. No, I don't. No, 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 that's fine. Okay, no thanks, no thanks. I see, come again. I'll teach you how to use the items anytime. Thank you. Thank you and goodbye. The, uh, yeah, the texture pop in there, whatever, whatever that is, I don't know if it's texture pop in, but something's loading and I don't know, it's kind of glitching. There it is. Yep. That's yeah. Ah, that's fine. That's okay. A little bit of a, uh, a lost maze here. I have no idea the way to go. So this is going to be like a random battle central. Again, I should have bought the charm potions to uh, prevent the random battles and random encounters, but that's fine. No biggie. I also need to, to use a, a potion outside of battle, so I don't I don't go into a battle with like 19 health. See, I, I can't get cocky here. There you go. That should take care of him. Got him. We got him. All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and heal ourselves here. One thing I will say is if you guys are used to like some of the quality of life things in modern JRPGs, like, you know, a certain button to heal or um, or whatever, like you'll find that it's it's kind of hard to uh, to go back to the older games like this and just, you know, have some uh, some archaic menu conveniences, but that's OK. Oh, this is this is the way that these games were meant to be played, and I, I I love it. I'm I'm here for it. Okay. A little bit of uh, Mario RPG forest maze vibes. And again, I'm here for that too. I lo I love that. It's a great game. A game that I wish was uh, more accessible as well. Uh oh. I have no time to deal with you. It reminds me. I wish I could say that to people in real life. I have no time to deal with you. <laughs> this way, this way. Yeek! Cut it out. Leave Shano alone. Leave Shano alone. Hang in there. I'll get you out from there. I mean, it looks great. The game looks great. I mean, like, you know, like, Darts textures are a little bit poppy, but I mean, that's okay. Oh, he's got an idle animation as well. Like, he's, yeah, man. Listen to that elevator music, man. It's great. You gotta, you gotta remember, like, you know, the year 2000, like, we've we've had some really great PlayStation games with some really great pre-render backgrounds and stuff. And this, thankfully, joined the uh, the pantheon of greatness uh, for PlayStation 1 visuals. I mean, could it have been better? I mean, I, I don't know, like... I, I don't know if this game was really pushing the hardware on this, on the PlayStation, but... Um, because I mean, it's, it's all, it's all a bit polygonal now looking back, but I think it looks, I think it looks fine. I mean, the, the thing that was really impressive about the Legend of Dragoon more than anything else, especially in-game graphics was the, the pre-rendered cutscenes, the CGI cutscenes, like they, they just look so good. Um, I mean, you're really in for a treat when you see those cutscenes and I always felt you know, playing, uh, like Final Fantasy seven, eight, and nine, it was always such a treat to go through the game, go through like hours of battles and stuff like that to see like five seconds of pre-rendered cutscenes. It was it was really sweet. And I loved playing these games on my PS1, uh, like the white PS1 with the with the flip screen on the back. It was so cool. That's 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 how us boomers played games back in the day, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh so the castle is down below. I think I, I'm going to save my game though. Again, being the serial saver that I am. 
Um, but I mean, first impressions so far, I think I think it looks good. It's it's cool to play this. It's it's not me being blinded by nostalgia goggles by any means. I just you know, I'm taking it for what it is. Um, I have no expectations for this just because I d nobody was expecting this game at all. So it's it's kind of hard. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm sure there are some people out there that are going to say, "Oh man, I wish it was like." upscaled or, or AI scaled like um, you know the Chrono Cross Radical Dreamers edition is or or anything else like the perhaps like the Mogiri mod um, that's that's floating around there on the on PC for Final Fantasy 9 I mean that that's you just I think the thing that I've learned as a fan of Square over the last few years is to really just not expect much of anything at all so let's enter hell in a prison here. We'll we'll, uh, we'll go through the next little bit for uh, for a couple minutes and check that out, and then we'll then we'll wrap it up. But I you know I just think this is this is so good to just to just play and, and be a part of. I mean like literally it's it's just shy of two a.m. right now on a Wednesday, and I've got to be at work in like a couple of hours. So I am I'm absolutely sabotaging my my entire day to play this game, and so far it's been pretty well worth it. I mean, how often do I get to stay up for, for a game launch anyway? Well, how can I sneak in? Aha, of course, the classic uh, cargo cart. So let's sneak in underneath there. Also, we uh, we team up with somebody here too towards the beginning of the uh, the prison. If we can catch up to the, if we can catch up to the cart in time. I see. Good meat and fish. Sir Frugal will be happy. Frugal Frugal. I don't know. You bought a lot recently. Is there something going on? It's not the business of a merchant like you. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I'll inspect the load. Oh. Okay. So. There, there are also quick time events, so if you see that little triangle with the exclamation mark in there, make sure you hit the X button to, to execute. Dart moving around. So that's something to be aware of. So you can't just sit during these cutscenes and scroll at your phone. You've got to be glued to the screen and ready for anything at any time. Seems to be okay. Also, we can fail that and then fight them. I think. Okay, lower the bridge and getting in the cart now. This is so cool. Yeah, but like I said earlier, I mean, like back in the year 2000, this was a very visually impressive game. Very visually impressive game. And I love my CRT filter on this, so it makes me feel like I'm playing it on the CRT back in the day. So this is this is quite a treat. And there's our save point there in Hell in a Prison. I made it. There we go. We got a trophy. Just, uh, just there. Cool. All right. And then there's the merchant there. Save our game. I just love this music, man. I think it's great. Absolutely fantastic. So you go. About, about 32 minutes odd uh, or, or so of Legend of Dragoon. I think it's so cool and it's it's such a it's such a pleasure to play this again now in 2023. Uh you know, it was a game that I I played a lot of growing up. I didn't I never really got very far, but I love the concept of it. I loved you know, the the multi-disc PlayStation 1 games. It was really cool to play those back in the day, you know, like I said in my Legend of Dragoon video that I posted the other day. You know, I I loved playing it on my PSP Go. It was a really great story that kept me hooked from start to finish. And if you guys are fans of Legend of Dragoon, please go check this out. Go support this game. Go buy the game rather than subscribe to PS Plus because if you're not subscribed to PS Plus, then there's, there's no point. I mean, 15 bucks for me is a really great point of, uh, point of entry rather um, for a classic game like this as opposed to like 20 or, or $25 a month, which I'm not even gonna take advantage of most of those features anyway. So, I mean, if you liked hanging out with the Let's Play, make sure to leave a like thumbs up whatever it's called subscribe leave a comment down below 
Um, if you enjoy my Let's Plays, go follow me on Twitch. I do a lot of Let's Plays and stuff there. And uh, I do those more regularly than the YouTube Let's Plays. But I just figured it would be really cool to show everybody else what the game looks like and what you can kind of expect from this. So it's not a full remaster. It's just a standard emulated port with a couple of visual filters and uh, save states. So pretty cool. I think it's great. Go check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching for this uh, for this long. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Long live Legend of Dragoon. Woohoo!